So in this experiment, we're going to observe which piece of fruit is going to generate the largest voltage and uh, give us some electrical energy that we could use to do something with. In order to do this, we are going to need some aluminium foil, just like out of your kitchen. We're going to use some one pence coins that have been cleaned in vinegar to make them nice and shiny. We have two leads, a voltmeter, and a variety of everyday fruits. So, one of the things I'd like you to do before watching any further is have a think about which one of these you think is going to give you the biggest result on the voltmeter. The next stage is to put some holes in the fruit in order to put the aluminium foil and the copper coin into the fruit. So to begin with, we make sure it's on a nice flat surface. We use a good quality knife and we make two small cuts into the flesh of the fruit. Be careful of your fingers, please. We then take a coin and a piece of aluminium foil and we put it into the fruit. That one is now prepared and we'll continue with the remainder. So that's a kiwi fruit. We have an orange. And we put foil. Make sure you leave a little bit uh, um, sticking out so that you can attach the crocodile clip in a moment. Uh, let's do the lime next. Make sure, try and make sure your knife is nice and clean. Do it very carefully, please. Always keep your fingers well out of the way and keep the fruit flat, uh, ni nicely on the, the, the table. If you're unsure, please make sure that you have an adult supervision as well. So the lime has the coin and aluminium foil in it. Put them around the same way just to make it nice and simple. We'll do a lemon next. Aluminium foil and a copper coin. A grapefruit. This is one of my favourite. Almost there. Last one, we'll do an apple. Now actually you could compare different types of apples too if you wanted. There we go. So what we have here are, uh, is seven fruits ready to be tried out. We'll get this out of the way. Make sure that that's cleaned and carefully taken care of. Back to the fruit. So what we need to do here is we are going to, in order, attach the copper to one side of the voltmeter and the aluminium to another. And we're going to observe the reading on the meter. So we'll plug one lead in and the second lead in. For clarity, I'm going to always put the black lead onto the aluminium foil. We're going to start with the orange. And I'm going to put the red lead onto the copper. The colour of the lead doesn't matter for the electricity, but it does make it nice and clear what we're doing. And now we can see that the reading is 0 0.52. You can see it moves about a little bit, but it's about 0 0.52 for the orange. And now detach that. We'll move the orange to the side. Now we'll do the lemon. Attach both leads carefully. And this one's higher. It's 0 0.67 or 0 0.66, somewhere in that reach. How helpful of it to keep changing. 
We'll go for the apple next. Do we think this is going to be higher or lower than the citrus fruit? Zero point six five for the apple. Oh, I would say zero point six three actually. The banana. Banana is a little bit lower, at around zero point five four. Go for the lime next. Many of you might have chosen this one as the one that you think is going to be the highest. But it's at 0 0.53. The same as the banana. Only two more to go. We'll go for the grapefruit next. Zero point four six. And finally, the kiwi. Zero point five seven. Zero point five five. So we've seen what happens when we put one lemon with a copper coin and a piece of aluminium foil across a voltmeter. We get a reading. At the moment, it's 0 0.5. But that's essentially one lemon cell. Now we're going to change it so that it's a lemon battery. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one more lemon, which has been prepared with copper and aluminium, and I'm going to add in another wire, which goes from the aluminium to the copper of the next lemon. I'm then going to attach in the voltmeter again to the aluminium and we can see we get a slightly higher reading of 0 0.85. Let's see what happens when we add another one. So I take a lead from the aluminium of the second lemon cell and I attach it to the copper of a third lemon cell. Once again, let's see what the reading is. We've now got more than one volt. It is 1.3 volts, roughly. And finally, let's try with one more lemon cell. So we attach the aluminium of that lemon cell to the copper of this lemon cell and take a reading by attaching the aluminium. And we can see that we've now reached 1.76 volts. That's using one, two, three, four lemon cells all connected up. Copper, um, where the aluminium is connected to the copper of each next cell. And we're attaching the voltmeter to the copper of the outermost uh, lemon and the aluminium of the one at the end of 